Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my standouts for day 2 of Miss Universe 2022. Welcome! So today, we will be refreshing the list because we will be having new list. Again, this is not a leaderboard. This is up being updated in a daily basis depending on, who, on who's standing out, on what we are seeing on social media and everything that they've been posting. So for day two, which happened yesterday, here are the standouts based on my list and based on my personal preference so there's already a lot of candidates that are in New Orleans again this is only for candidates who have already arrived in New Orleans so I already have narrowed down my list to my top 10 and then my three candidates who are very close to the list because I felt like it's really important for me to include who's quite close to the top 10 but didn't make it still now before we proceed with our top 10 the three ladies that are very close to my top 10 were Colombia Maria Fernanda Aristizabal, Jamaica, Toshami Calvin, and Philippines. Celeste Cortesi. I really wanted to put Philippines, to be honest, in the top 10 because, I mean, look at her photo. Super beautiful. And the styling, perfect. I just felt like I have seen more from others that convinced me more that, they, uh, that I have to put them in the top 10. Now, let's go to my top 10. Starting with my number 10, Bolivia. Camila Sanabria. We have to give credit where it's due because to be honest, Bolivia looked amazing. For comparison purposes, her look here, her styling here is miles better compared to how she looked in her previous international pageant. I mean, I cannot, to be honest, when I saw this photo, I cannot believe what I saw. It's truly an impressive, impressive transformation. I'm so happy seeing her at this look I mean so beautiful and we all wanted to see the ladies in their best version and I'm so happy to see Bolivia with this number nine goes to Curaçao Gabriela dos Santos Curaçao just arrived today and she looked fresh and stunning I also love the bright color of outfit that she wore and she truly goes along with her radiant aura and energy and she is definitely a natural beauty if you have watched the clip of her arrival i mean she's just so amazing loves her energy she's just so fun and most importantly you can really see that this is someone who's going to do well my number eight goes to italy virginia stablum this photo was Virginia receiving her Miss Universe sash and she's so happy about it and her outfit today was just beautiful and fashionable and if you have seen her full outfit I'm not sure if I could post it but if not then you can see it online but it's just so good in full I really really loved it and if you see it you'll get what I mean too but what even surprised me even more is how stunning she looked even in the MUBA clips that I've seen, her close-up are just to die for. Super, super beautiful. Stunning, stunning face. I find it impossible for them to ruin her beauty, even with the worst makeup. She could still stand out. Her face is just wow. And aside from that, she is such a likable candidate. I have watched some of her video clips as well, and she made me love her even more. Such a good candidate this year from Italy. Number seven goes to South Africa and Davi Nokeri. Her departure photos were probably the most shared and the most reposted photos that I've seen yesterday when they started posting it. I mean, she was everywhere and why not? I mean, I always feel that Ndavi is a performer, but a low-key, but a bit low-key kind of performer. But when this photo was released, this isn't Loki anymore! She is really coming to compete and to fight for another crown for South Africa. And this look, 
this overall styling is a statement that she is willing to fight hard and I'm loving it. I'm also loving the hair. Very diva-ish but in a very good and likable way and she has delivered it confidently. So well done to South Africa. My number six goes to the Dominican Republic. Andrea Martinez, she also arrived today and she looked so regal, so classy, and she looked so expensive. I love her arrival outfit and the way she was styled was smooth and perfectly polished. Love her hair, loved her face, and even when she arrived, she's doing these catwalk videos and I loved it. She's just so good at it clearly a strong contender and I cannot wait to see more. Number five goes to Nigeria. Hannah Irib Hogbe. If Hannah continue to nail this just like how she's been doing it since day one and continue on by giving a strong performance, she could actually be the game changer. I mean, who doesn't love this face? I bet no one. I mean, she looked stunning. I also enjoyed her personality in some of the clips that I've seen. I think Nigeria is in everybody's list by now. List of favorites because I would be shocked if she's not. Number four goes to Angola. Suelo da Silva. I was completely stunned and blown away when I saw this photo of Suelo and it is impossible for me to exclude her in the list of standouts for day two. I am loving what she did here. Her hairstyle, her makeup was perfect, and if I am being honest, this is the best look that I've seen from her so far. Number three goes to Puerto Rico. Ashley Carino, I am loving her a lot today. Stunning face as always, and what's even impressive is on how she was able to remain consistently stunning in terms of beauty and styling. I have watched her in some clips, and the good thing, and one of the advantages of Puerto Rico in my opinion that would make her a standout in this is that I have seen her in groups, and Ashley easily stands out. She just pops out. She just radiates that aura that no one has. And I believe that's something that she could really use once the competition starts, especially in the preliminaries. She has that something in her that radiates that easily made her the standout in a group. And I loved it. She stands out easily. Number two goes to Venezuela. Amanda Dudamel, love her or hate her, you cannot change what's obvious. And that is... Amanda is nailing it every single day. Yes, she can nail what she can wear whatever she wanted to wear and she can still nail it. And her, her bright yellow dress may not be for others, but to me I loved it because it wasn't the dress that stood out. It was Amanda. She was able to carry the dress beautifully. She was able to stand out in it. Also, I appreciate everything that I've seen from her yesterday, especially where she's been interacting with her fellow candidates in some clips and let me just break it to some haters again but she's just glowing and undeniably standing out as well whether she is by herself or with a group there's something about Venezuela that really I don't know it's very difficult to explain but if you feel it you can really feel it and so far I'm really feeling it I'm feeling Venezuela this year but of course, it could still change, but for now, that's what I'm feeling. But my number one standout for day two of Miss Universe 2022 goes to India. David Arai, when I saw this, I mean, I posted it immediately on my Instagram because I believe this is the best version that I've seen from her and version in terms of styling. I mean, wow, I was just wowed when I saw this yesterday. I mean, if they could transform her into this, she could actually make it possible. And I'm talking about bringing India back in the top five once again, or even potentially pulling a back-to-back -back win. Because this look, this styling is a top five material. And I am just shocked, positively shocked, when I saw it. I'm so happy 
because of course I wasn't really a fan of how she looked when she arrived. I'm not really a fan of the styling and didn't like her departure and arrival outfits and styling. But when I saw this, everything has changed. I mean, if she could only play her cards right and properly play it and make sure that she could stand out in whatever that she do, Divita could really make the impossible possible. She can really do it because she transformed into someone that screams top 5 finisher. And I am seriously hoping that she will be consistent with this. But if they could push for more, then let's do it. And I'm glad that she is peaking right now. Because that's the most important part. And I really hope that, again, as what I've said, she consistently continue to rise. And hopefully do well for her country and for herself as well so that's it these are my top 10 standouts for day two of miss universe 2022 and i wanted to know your thoughts about the ladies that made it in my list and of course the ranking as well and stay tuned for my day three review tomorrow so don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future for now Thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.